Welcome back. Well, as you see big picture out there, that Saharan dust has finally arrived before the storms made their way into the capital area today. It was a little bit hazy out there. You could definitely see the dust in the atmosphere. As you notice tomorrow, there's going to be a pretty large plume over the state of Louisiana. And with that being said, mainly because our rain chances are going to be a little bit lower tomorrow, we're going to continue to keep those milky skies in place and maybe even see a gorgeous sunset tomorrow night and also keep that tropical activity extremely low out there, but it will drop our air quality and because of all that dust in the atmosphere, that's why we sit under an ozone action day for tomorrow. That's for our entire view and area. As you notice, an air quality alert. It's mainly for those who have respiratory issues, unhealthy for some. So if you have asthma, limit that outdoor activity. Maybe wait until the early evening hours. Try not to do it during the late morning and afternoon hours, obviously when it's going to be at its max. For us, obviously moving forward, it looks like we've got some storms. Obviously, you can see here, these are all storm reports out there starting out in Gross Tate, and that goes all the way through the capital area into Livingston Parish, even into northern Tangipaho, just around Kentwood. A lot of trees down, a lot of power outages, over 40,000 across the area. But those storms have lifted out of here, and we are now starting to quiet things down moving forward. See on the Doppler radar, a little bit of light rain, still the potential that we could see a shower or two develop later on tonight, but not expected to be severe. We're going to look for some cloud cover tonight night with temperatures in the lower 70s heading into your Friday a little bit more in the way of sunshine is still looking at some cloud cover again those milky skies because of that dust in the air but here's the other story our rain chances dropped to about 30 percent doesn't last long that dust moves along and guess what moving back into the weekend our storms return out there so far also we do re Main underneath that flash flood watch until later on tonight. Luckily, I think this is going to expire as we move forward just because we will get a break on Friday from the rain. More storms likely Saturday and Sunday and then more of a typical pattern heading into early next week. So your live tower cam outside. You can see the clouds out there again. A little bit of a haze right now. 74 winds out of the west southwest at about 9 miles per hour. Current feel like temperatures range anywhere from lower 70s to even mid 80s and notice dry down in Bell Chase today. Current feel like temperatures are sitting just shy of triple digits. Keeping an eye on the tropics. Nothing going on at this hour. Nice and quiet. Nothing expected over the next five days. Notice barely any clouds in the Atlantic and the Caribbean and most of the Gulf. It's because of all that dust. 74 out there for tonight. A couple clouds tomorrow. Mostly cloudy, a little bit hazy out there. Mainly dry winds out of the southeast as we top out in the mid 80s. Remember that we have partnered up with iHeartRadio. And here is that seven day picture for you. You see we go from 83 an occasional shower. Storms quickly return on Saturday, mainly during the afternoon. The potential for some heavy rain at times, some lightning. Not expected to be severe, but just keep an eye on it at this point. As you notice, moving back into the weekend, our storms are going to become a little bit more isolated. But because of that, more sunshine equals higher temperatures throughout the afternoon. We feel like temperatures near 100, maybe even above. A very hot and humid forecast with even overnight lows sitting in the mid 70s because of all that humidity and obviously all that standing water from previous days and more rain. Well, we're going to continue to keep our Skeeter meter in that high category.